Hi, gorgeous. This is episode number 257. You are listening to Heart Sells Podcast. I'm your host, Christine Schlonsky, and it is Variety Friday. Woohoo! I'm so excited. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful week. And as you know, on Variety Fridays, I am sharing resources with you. I answer your questions, or I just share what I have learned in selling high ticket live events over the phone for years and also now coaching clients all around the globe for the past years, helping them to step into their sales power to sell with ease, grace, confidence, and uh, yeah, being true and authentic to their values. And today I have a surprise for you. The amazing Nina Sedlowski is joining in. She's definitely my soulmate client. That's why I am so pumped to share the wonderful Nina with you today in today's episode. So welcome, Nina. Hi, Christine. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm so excited to have you <laughs> on the show. And, you know, you are a number one Amazon best-selling author of your wonderful book, Feel, Understand, Heal, Design Your Life for Results. And I, you know, I know you are about results and I love seeing how you help people to get results as yeah. a certified personal and business coach and trainer, as a yoga teacher, as well as a wellness advocate of doTERRA essential oils and a speaker. So <laughs> let's dive right in. Like, how have you helped hundreds of women all across the globe so far going deeper mentally, physically, emotionally, so that they can design a life that is healthier, happier, more authentic, and courageous? Yeah, I um, thank you, first of all, for the introduction. I love that it's Variety Friday because I consider myself a very versatile person you know so i can get easily bored and so as to answer your question that is exactly what i figured out for myself you know that i need this variety and like different methods and different tools to really get the results for my body for my mind and for my soul and so i started becoming like a training as a yoga teacher. So I started teaching that. And then I felt like, okay, but I want to have that mental aspect as well. So I went right into coaching. And um, then I added the essential oils because for each one of those, I figured that there are really amazing results for, you know, really diving deeper into your body and feeling what's going on, but also understanding what's going on in your mind every second of the day mm. and you know, you know as much as I do how important it is to understand what we are thinking all day but then also to understand what is actually my soul's desire where am I heading where my life with my life where do I feel best and true to myself and really you know authentic and light and just like amazing. And mm. that is why I felt like I need more than one method that I tie myself to, but a variety of yoga, mindset work with coaching and the essential oils. Yeah. And I know you, you bring them so powerfully together when you, when you actually coach with your clients. Yes. And, uh, you know, we had the opportunity to talk about it um, because we worked together for such a long time. And it yeah. was just so beautiful to see how you really stepped in to the sales game and how you stepped up so that, you know, your clients just love you. They love working with you. You get such yeah. great testimonials. Yeah. And, you know, I have to say, I, I'm so proud of you too. Thank um, you. <laughs> yeah, we, we share so many things as well. Like uh, you are a passionate dancer. You love to travel mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. just exploring life, loving life and sharing your gifts with the world. So what, how, how, like when people come to you, like what's usually their pain point? Why do they reach out? So um, a lot of the times they, it's a very, you know, more or less generic and people are just a bit stuck in the life that they are currently living. They do know most of the times what they don't like anymore, but they cannot really get to the roots of what they desire. Mm. And I 
seem to have a um, a wonderful gift here because I am very clear and I can you know see patterns very clearly and very easily. And so very often, you know, it's just that like outside perspective that helps them and you know, maybe like a little kick in the in the beautiful butt as well, you know, that gets them moving yeah. um, and that makes them feel secure as well. So um, about security, that is another thing. So even if people come to me and they sort of know, well, I want to head, let's just say, into a coaching and yoga teacher direction, um, they are very often lacking the courage to actually start moving somehow. So it's really like they are in that in that cage of themselves and you know where they've been stuck basically for years and years. And now they are really scared of stepping out of that, of that cage and open up the cage. Mm. Um, and yeah. And one other thing that is really common with uh, people coming to me is that they have really lost some sort of connection with themselves, meaning um, they don't really feel themselves in their bodies anymore. And that also means that they are not really connected with their desires, with their emotions and with their feelings. But if we are disconnected in that matter, it's very difficult to design a life you truly love. Because based on what do you want to design something, right? If you don't know yeah. what you what you want to design. So these are, I'd say, like the, the major pain points of my clients. Mm. Yeah, and I'm sure that so many in the audience, if not everyone, can really connect. Because I, I know for myself, I've been to the point where I knew what I didn't want, but I didn't know yeah. what I really, truly desired. Yeah. And that was pretty hard work, right? <laughs> It is. And I mean, you know, there is obviously a reason why I do why what I do, right? I think very often we come from our own experiences and from our own transformational stories. And I think that is also the biggest gift we have to use our own transformation and our own successes and results and pass that then on. I think that's just the most authentic way you can, you can do coaching work, for example, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, if, if if you have learned it by by walking down that path, yeah, and obviously, I think it's connecting better to your ideal client, to your soulmate client, yeah. than by just having it like out of a book, for example. Exactly. Oh, and actually, um, one more thing that I'm just um, that I'm just realizing what you just said is very often the problem is as well that people are not allowing themselves to dream anymore. Mm, why is that? Because I think we just, you know, we were like trained and conditioned in a way that, you know, you, you certainly have heard about that limiting belief, you know, where your parents or whoever would tell you, you know, like, for example, money doesn't grow on trees or you, can all, you cannot always get what you want in life. You yeah. know, and um, I know for myself that I'm definitely... I am a dreamer, but I'm also a very realistic person. But I definitely remembered like on the way of my mindset work and, you know, all the limiting beliefs, etc. When I looked at them, I certainly understood, oh, yeah, because I always thought, you know, that is out of, you know, what society is okay with. So who am I? to reach for, you know, way more. And actually, whilst I'm talking about that, there is my vision board and it's full of like amazing and beautiful beaches and houses at the beach, etc. So I needed to learn to dream again, you know, and so I teach people like my clients to start visualizing and dreaming again and allowing it to be there without the direct, you know, but that's not possible. Oh yeah, I'm not going to do that. Or I can't afford that. You know, all the limiting beliefs that kick in instantly. Yeah. So yeah. for someone who, who's listening and just thinks like, oh, mm -hmm. true, I, I haven't really dreamed or I haven't dreamed big, right? I mean, sometimes the dreams are so tiny, it's not even worth mm -hmm. putting energy in. Like yeah. how, like what would be like a couple steps you can share so people can actually start their journey? Mm. Well, what I definitely always recommend is um, indeed like 
by hand, you know, doing a vision board for yourself. I know there is lots of, you know, apps and stuff that you can do it online and you have it on your laptop, but it's so different. So I, you know, always recommend just get some really beautiful newspapers and some, some magazines and like really like the glossy nice ones as well, not the black and white stuff, right? Because yeah. like the more images we have, the more we are visualizing, the more we are allowing ourselves to dream a bit bigger and more colorful. And that's basically, um, you know, NLP as well, neuro linguistic programming. So really seeing and envisioning everything in as much detail as you can. So when let's just say somebody is because a lot of my clients want to be at the beach and live at the beach, you know. So I mean, we have that in common. So I have that in common with my clients as well, which is really nice. So I always tell them, okay, or I ask them in a coaching session, well you know, what exactly is right of you? What is left of you? Like, where exactly are you sitting? You know, what music is playing? What does the beach really look like? Describe it to me. And so the more precise you are, the more images are you, you are allowing into your, yeah, into your head, into your vision, and also into your heart. And from there, it's so much easier then to... You know, when something happens in your life, then you are able to match it to your vision because then you go like, oh my God, like this looks sort of like what I've been envisioning, right? Or you can do that with literally everything, whether that's with your job, with your location, with your partner, you know, just envision all of that. And then you will see the universe is going to send you, you know, the sort of the domino pieces, the puzzle pieces, one by one. But then very often the problem is we're not open enough then to receive it, right? Because we are so much in our heads. So this is why it's so important to, um, yeah, do a vision board, do meditation so that you can always connect with your heart and open up to abundance and all the beauty. Otherwise, you're not going to see it. Yeah, You know, it's happening all the time, but you won't be able to see it if you're not, if you're not really opening up here. So. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. And it's so true. <laughs> once, once you get that clarity of what your heart's desires are yeah. and you allow yourself to, to own them, right. To be okay yeah. with them, to not worry like, oh my goodness, what's this person going to think about me if yeah. I have that desire, which a lot of people do. Like, what is this person going to think of me if yeah. I all of a sudden love sales, right? If I all of a sudden uh, dare to charge higher fees than I did before because I know my self-worth. Like, not yeah. having that fear of getting judged is so important. That is very true. Very important. And especially then, um, which is why I always recommend indeed having like an external mentor, sparing partner, coach to work with because it's so much easier to open up to a more, you know, objective and external person. Mm. Um, and, you know, if for whatever reason that is not for you right now, for whatever reason, then I always recommend journaling as well, because you basically have your book, your journal as a sparing partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. It's so much easier when you have that support, when you can yeah. talk to someone or have someone guide you who is already there where you want to go. Exactly. So, yeah. What, what happens to people? So somebody might be inspired, but then again, they might forget and they might not take action. So what, what do you see? What happens to people over time if they do not manage to get clear on their own desires? Well, the, um, the clearer you are, the more able you're really, um, the more you are able to introduce the necessary steps required to really work towards your life design, right? Um, what is really important, what you just said is like, you sort of forget about it. And you know, that can happen very often, especially when people are trying to do everything by themselves. And if they don't have a sparing partner, somebody who holds them accountable, right? Yeah. Um, but also what I am observing is that people are very often like the, the steps are way too big. And I 
when I say that, I just need to look back at myself. You know, I did way too big steps and I wanted a lot of things all at the same time and quicker. And why is this taking so long? You know, so all these like limiting beliefs again, kicking in. And so what is really important to, um, to become clear in the process, right? A lot of people are thinking that there's this like one day and this one coaching session where all of a sudden everything's clear and I'm able to walk directly towards that goal. And that's just not reality. You know, sorry, everyone who's listening. But if you wanted to have a very straight path, that's not going to really happen. You know, it's more like the curvy kind of um, crazy path. Um, but what is really important in the process is to first of all, accept that it is a process that takes time. And secondly, to really never, never lose that momentum. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's so important. And especially when you were like having like a successful moment, right? Yeah. A lot of people are then thinking, oh, great, like I've done that now. And then they sort of like drop in their motivation and um, not necessarily in their motivation, but in the steps to take. And especially when we have achieved something, it is even more important to keep going and to really, you know, stay on that wave. Like everyone imagine a surfing wave, right? You mm -hmm. just don't while you're on that wave, you don't just step off the board and walk. No, I'm done. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. That was that. So you yeah. keep surfing and that is exactly I think that's a perfect picture. What needs to happen mm. if you really wanna surf <laughs> towards your life design. Yeah, I love that. So I mean I, I think it's so thoughtful that you gave your business and what you do that design your life for results title. Tell us a little bit what, what inspired you to choose that? Well, so it, I like, I understood that for me, it was really majorly about um, stepping out of all the, you know, the conditioning and the predetermined life that either society, parents or whoever wants for us. And um, what I also noticed in my own process is that I sort of like felt a bit sometimes like an alien. I felt like I was treated like a weirdo <laughs> for doing what I'm doing. But to me, it was completely normal yeah. um, at that point. You know, for me, it's like all, all entrepreneurs have that, like they exactly. are different. Right. right? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I think we, you know, we need even more of those people. Um, but I understood that it's not weird to me because it is part of who I am. It is part of my true self and it's totally aligned. Mm -hmm. And so um, I understood that when, so design your life really means like step out of the mm, determined life by others. You know, when you feel like you're not really on your own path, but you're more like walking the path whoever, that everyone is walking. Um, but also to never ever forget the connection with either your femininity, because I, I coach women, um, but of course, like, you know, that would be applying to men as well with their masculinity, masculinity. Um, but to not lose that female connection on the path mm. and the physical, mental and emotional aspect and even the spiritual aspect. And so this is what the results part for results is actually referring to, right? Because we cannot only have results on a physical level, on a body level. We need to work on our mind. And we also need to give that like spiritual food, that nourishing, you know, food to our soul. If we really want to have a proper life design that suits us and our true self. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It's so important to discover to discover that, right? And yeah. some people that who are listening, you know, they might feel a little bit stuck right now, and you know, maybe the business is not where they want the business to be, or they are not spending as much time with their loved ones as they would yeah. love to. That's why they went into business for the, for the uh, for that reason anyway. So 
Yeah. Where can people connect with you and, and um, yeah, how can they find out if you can support them? Of course. So, I mean, I'm very active on social media. So Instagram, um, the, it's at design your life for results, everything in one word. You would also find me under my name, Nina Zaplowski. The same applies to um, Facebook. And of course you can, um, like you mentioned earlier, you know, my Amazon bestselling ebook. So people can download that, get an idea of how I'm connecting the dots with each other and how I can help them dive deeper. And um, yeah, and of course, if there is an interest in working with me, please drop me a message. I'm very happy to have like free, a free clarity call, you know, to really understand is there a good match on an energetic level? Um, because that is really important to me, you know, to really have that energetic yeah. connection with my clients. Yeah, mm -hmm. have those soulmate clients, as I always say. Yeah, I think that's a really, that's a really beautiful word, right? Because it's not like... Um, it's not like a coach, one coaching session. It's a process. Like I explained earlier, it's not something that is just done within one session. It really takes some time. And so I think it's really important for both sides that we feel like safe, you know, and, yeah. and secure. And of course, you know, that we are having fun as well, like yeah. in the process. I think that is something, you know, that, yeah, that sometimes maybe forgotten, But how important is it, please, to be like joyful in that process? The results are even way better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah, totally. Like, how how would it be if you can get results and have a great time while you get them? Exactly. Like, even though, even though you you probably will go through some you know challenging things because that's what you do when you grow, right? Of course. Yeah. So yeah. I love that. I will I will have all the links to you uh, in the show notes and also your wonderful free gift. Um, your yeah. book, which is a great ebook. Can you tell us a little bit what people learn in the ebook when they get it? It is really, um, um, it's basically like three pillars. So there are a few exercises that are more related to the body part, then a few to the mind part, and also to the soul part. And um, so since I'm a yoga teacher, you know, I do coaching and I do the essential oils. It's basically a combination of the three of them. And it's really more or less actually a working book. There are a lot of practical exercises in there. I think 10 in total, you know, and just as an example, like mirror talk or, you know, how can you combine um, essential oils and their smell with speaking a mantra to really, you know, work on your, on your positivity and on your mm. positive mindset, etc. So it's very hands on. And that's also the way I coach. So oh, for results, right? <laughs> exactly. Hands on for results. <laughs> so should design your life um, for results not work at some point anymore? I just go for hands on for results. <laughs> <laughs> well, you definitely have to take action and, and you yeah. are, you're a great action taker. And I loved working with you, yeah. because, you know, when, when we coached, you implemented and you got the results and that made me so happy. Yeah. Um, beautiful to see how you do that with your clients. So yeah. I just want to invite thank everybody. Well, thank you so, so much for being on the show today. I just want to invite everybody to connect with you on social media to, to get yes. that book. I mean, it's a, Amazon bestsellers, you are yeah. one, number one Amazon bestseller. So you, yeah. you really get great stuff out of it. Yeah. More results. And uh, yeah, if you, if you feel like you could have a little bit of support and go deeper physically, emotionally, mentally, definitely connect with Nina and check out her work. Yes. Thank you so, so much for having been on the show today. And uh, thank you. All, Thank all you the best. That. And I'm, I'm so excited for what you do in the world and for the gifts you're giving and uh, that you said yes to yourself to, to yeah. go out and to follow your own path so yeah. that you can be the happiest and healthiest, authentic person <laughs> that you are. So thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Christine. <laughs>